I'm from grade 2A. Have you been to West Sumatra? West Sumatra is beautiful. And do you know about the famous folklore? <coughs> yes, the, the story is about Maling Kundang. A long time ago, in a small village near the beach in West Sumatra, there lived an old and poor woman with his son. His, her son named Maling Kundang. Maling Kundang and his mom worked so hard to get money, but their money isn't enough for their life every day. When Malin growing up, Malin has decided to help his mother sailing across the country and get some money. And Malin asked permission. Mom, can I go sailing across the country? <coughs> asked Malin. But Malin's mom didn't agree because she don't want to lose his own his her only child. Stay here, Malin. Don't leave me. Say Malin's mom. But Malin always convinces her mother to sailing across the country. Finally, with the heavy heart, Malin's mom allowed Malin to leave. Ten years passed away, Malin's mom became sickness because Malin didn't give her nails. In the other side country, Malin became rich and famous and Malin married with a pretty woman in that town. One day, Malin's wife asked Malin to meet his mother. Malin agreed to come back to his town. Finally, Malin's ship has arrived in hometown. Hearing the news Malin come back, Malin mom, Malin's mom was so happy she ran to the deck and meet Malin. Malin, is that you? asked Malin's mother. Malin's wife looked and asked to Malin. Malin, <coughs> is that your mom, Malin? Embarrassed to see his mother. Malin don't want to admit it. How could this woman be my mother? She just a beggar. Get out of here. Hearing the words coming out of Malin's mouth, Malin's mother's heart became sick and sad. And Malin's mom prayed to the God. God, if it's true, Malin hit my son, cursed him to be a stone. Then the sky turned dark, the wind thunders loudly, the lightning struck, and Malin shouted, Sorry, mother, please forgive me. And soon Malin's body became stiff and turned into a stone. The moral message of this story, we must not disobedient our parents because our parents gave us birth and raised us. Okay, that's all story from me. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello guys, my name is Saima, class 2A. Today, I want to give you a story. The title is a Rabbit and 20 Crocodiles. I hope you like it. Once upon a time, there was a rapid wanted to cross a river. But he could not swim. And then he had an idea. Ah, he saw a bus of crocodiles swimming in the river. And then the rabbit asked the bus of crocodiles, How many crocodiles are there swimming in the river? There are 20 crocodiles are there swimming in the river. The bus of crocodiles answered, Where are they? To repeat as for the second time. What is it for? The boss of crocodiles answered. I want you 
friends to make a line in order set to it. Then boss of crocodiles call all his friends and them and ask them to make a line in order from one side to the other side of the river. And then the rabbit started to count while jumping from one crocodile to another. One, two, three, four, until twenty. And then the rabbit thanks to crocodiles because he had crossed the river. That was my story about a rabbit and 20 crocodiles. I hope you like it. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, my name is Kayla and I want to tell, a, tell you a story about the strong or weak. There was a proud big tree in the forest. He was tall and strong. There was a small herb next to the tree. The big tree said, I'm very handsome and strong. No one can defeat me. Hearing this, the herb replied, Dear friend, too much pride is harmful. Even the strong will fall one day. The tick ignored the herb words. He continued to pride himself. A strong wind blew. The tick stood firmly, even when it died. The tick stood strong by spreading its leaf. At the same time, the herb both loved. The tick made fun of the herb. One day, there was a storm in the forest. The herb bowed low. As usual, the tick did not want to bow. The storm kept growing stronger. The tick could no longer bear it. He felt his strength giving way. He fell down. Brook! This way, this was the end of the pro tree. When everything was calm, the herb stood straight. He looked round. He saw, he saw the pro tick had found the end. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone. Today is story about Jack and Beanstalk. Jack, mom, I'm hungry. Oh, Jack, I'm sorry. Here, go to the market. Please buy my cow. Oh, no, your cow is small and thin. Can I have your cow? These are for you. Magic beans? Thank you. Jack, you are silly. Now we don't have any money and we don't have a cow. The next day, look, a beanstalk. I can climb it. Jack, it's tall. Be careful. Look at that big castle. It's a giant. Shh, come in. Here, this is for you. Thank you, you're kind. This chair is a big. What's that noise? Help! Oh, good, he's asleep. Go now, boy. Quick. Who's that boy? Which boy? What does he look like? He's short. He has brown hair. He wants my gold. There isn't a boy. Here, eat your breakfast. The next day. Where is the gold? Look, a beautiful goose and gold eggs. I'm rich. Quack, 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 quack. Shh, quack, 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 quack. Oh no, now he's awake. Dad 
it's my goose. Come back. Mom, there's a giant at the beanstalk. What does he look like? He's very tall. He has long black beard. He's ugly and he's angry. Help! Stop him! Quick! Here! A gold eggs? <gasps> Thank you! Now we are rich and happy. Okay everyone, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Aksa. I'm great to see. I will start telling about the mouse and the fox. The mouse and a fox were once discussing about hounds. The mouse said, I hate hounds. They are very nasty animals. They hunt and kill us. The fox said, I hate hounds more than you. The mouse asked, How do you save yourself from hounds? The fox replied, how many it get away from hounds? The mouse asks, Can you say what your trick are? They are very simple, said the fox. He add, I can hide behind thick boxes. I can run along thorny hedges. I can hide in grooves. There are many moss that now it was the turn of the fox to mouse about her tricks. The fox asked, How many tricks do you know? The mouse replied, I know just one trick. The fox snarled, Oh, who said, You know only one trick. What is your trick? The mouse was about to answer. But she found a flock of hounds. Fast approach, she said. I am going to do it now, because the hounds are coming. Saying this word, the mouse ran up a nearby tree, safe from the hounds. The fox threw out his tricks, but the hounds out beat him. Oh, my one trick is better than all his tricks, said the most to herself. Thank you everyone for watching and listen my storytelling. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Marvin. I'm from to see. I want to tell a story about Thirsty Crow. There was a crow which was very thirsty. He searched water everywhere. At last, he saw water pot near a well. He looked inside the pot. There was very little water in the pot. The crow saw some stone nearby. He thought of a plan. He picked up some stones. He put them one by one into the pot. Water level came up. The crow drank and fly away happily. The end. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.